So I'm here with the one and only. Ah, I'm next to Tom Antos. <laughs> Ted, Ted, Ted from Aperture. Hey guys. What's some of the, the the new stuff you got? So the biggest release that we got here that we're super happy to unveil is the new Aperture 300D. This is still a single source LED. This is an upgrade to our old COB 120D lights. Uh, the D stands for daylight. 300 watts of LED power, which means we're giving out about the equivalent of a tungsten 2K. And now your tungsten 2K is not only 300 watts of power, which means you could plug in six tungsten 2Ks into essentially one, ter one circuit. So if you look here, the design is actually not that much bigger than the 120D. If you remember the 120D, it's only about this much bigger. So just a little bit like a half lens longer. Um, so on the front here, you can see here, I'm not gonna turn it on yet because it's blinding and they can't even look at it. But uh, if you look right here, You've now got a glass filter in front of the chip on board, so we're protecting the LED. And in addition to that, this glass right here is actually a little bit of a magenta filter. So what that does, that'll actually increase the TLCI up to 98. So super, super color accurate light, no green or magenta shifts on it, um, very, very accurate. And in terms of brightness, from about half a meter away, we're looking at uh, 82,000 lux. So super freaking bright. So I'm going to turn it on for you right now. Um, <laughs> Really, that is bright. Yeah. Really bright. Uh, you can see it. We can shine it even on like the ceiling and stuff and you'll see it around. Um, I'm going to turn that away from you. I'm going to dim it down. So right here we still have remote control compatibility too. So if you take any of our old remotes from Aperture, the Lightstorm ones, the Amaran ones, these can all be channeled and grouped. You can see this adapter is a little bit longer and the reason it's this much longer is because it pulls more power. We now have two V-mount battery slots here on the back both the quick releases of course, and if you want gold mount Anton Bauer, we can do that as well. You can still do channels and grouping, so you can pair, uh, you can say, say, three 1Ks, and you can pair three 2Ks all together. You can do whatever setup you want, totally customizable channels and groups. Um, and if you go down here, this is the new ballast box. So there's another kind of fail switch, safe switch here. This is just to make sure, you know, just pulling a lot more power than our previous 120D lights. Uh, so a new little setup here as well. Um, 300D, gonna be shipping in we think three months. And what's the, the price? And the price is not set yet, but we're gunning for under $1,000, which is crazy, crazy, crazy. I think anything close in terms of brightness is gonna be easily pushing $4,500. Um, if you think about like the Joker 800, which this is brighter than, uh, the Joker 800 is something like a $5,000, $6,000 light, and that's HMI. So we're improving the technology, bringing the prices down, and trying to do the aperture thing again. Do you think you're going to have a, a tungsten version down uh, the line? Yes, yes we will. Uh, these were the daylight, so as opposed to before when we did the tungsten one first and then brought the daylight, uh, this one's daylight first, so we're going to come up with that tungsten. So what do we have here? So this basically is a new attachment that goes on to our 120D and what, 300 series of lights. This basically is a 22 inch across parabolic softbox. Now, previously we had the light dome, which is a 35 inch softbox. This one is smaller and we listened to a lot of user feedback. So people asked us, they said, hey, we want a grid. Got a grid. <laughs> hey, uh, we want it to be even more durable. We said, sure. This right here is actually made out of parachute fabric. This is the same parachute fabric that the US Air Force uses. So this is never, ever, ever gonna break. People's lives literally depend on this fabric not breaking. Um, and basically, it goes in the same way here. We've got the speed ring included. And all together, this attachment snaps on really, really quick. So now whenever you want soft light, you just walk over, snap it on, and immediately you have soft light. Um, so this right here is called the Lightstorm Mini Dome. This is going to be coming out in about two months. And the price is going to be under $100. Uh, and if you think about it, as opposed to before when we had the light dome, the light dome is about... Uh, it's $150. If you think about any other softbox that's 35, uh, you'll easily run about $400, plus a speed ring will usually cost you $150 extra. We think that's garbage, we think that's really stupid, so we're gonna include a speed ring along with everything else, so. It's basically the complete thing. Right? Yeah, we try to give you the complete package, because if you don't have the speed ring, you can't use it anyways. So, speed ring, dome, $99 is what we think, and then for the light dome, as we had before, that's $150. All right, so what is what is this big beauty? All right, so we're showing right now we have a space light attachment that goes onto all of our 120 lights. Um, one of the things that we wanted to emphasize was that if you don't have that reflector on it, the chip on board does a 120 degree beam angle. That's a super, super wide beam angle. For reference, the traditional tungsten light's gonna be anywhere between a 25 to 45 degree beam angle. So what can you do with a wider beam angle? Well, for one, it fills up, say, a china ball or a space light really, really well. So I'm just snapping this on here and the entire thing illuminates because 
it's almost it, it's basically like a almost like a perpendicular light that'll come out of this. So we can fill really really wide spaces. And this right now is only on I think we're on 15% brightness with this. This can get much much brighter. You now have a large space light that you can use in any place that you need like a china ball or something like that. You now have a professional. This is the same thing. Parachute fabric. And not only is it parachute fabric, so it's super, super durable, it's never gonna rip. People's lives depend on this fabric not breaking. Um, we actually had to do a lot of engineering just to make sure that the fabric doesn't have a color shift too. <clears throat> One of the problems with a lot of China balls, for instance, is that they will give you a little bit of, uh, like a magenta, or they'll give you a little bit of green in them. Basically, we have to make sure and we go through and we fine tune it to make sure that the CRI and the TLCI is not affected at all when the light comes out of the space light. So the space light's coming out, it's gonna be out in, we think, a month and the price we think is gonna be about $50. So really, really affordable. Everyone gets a space light now. Traditionally technology that's really only been in like green screen studios or like big places. Giving it to the indie market, making it affordable, giving it to everyone. So we're showing off the Mini 20C right now. I know, I know, I know you guys have been waiting for this light. We've been trying to get it out. We are pushing. Um, so basically it's gonna be out in the next two weeks. So the new thing that we've got here and thing that has been taking us so long is that we keep finding little ways to improve the light. And if we release the light now, we can't change those little things. So the reason it's been taking so long is that we keep finding these new improvements. We wanted to make a bicolor version, so here's one right now. Now, as before, when you only had a dimmer, now if you click it, you can change between dimming and color temperature mode. And right here, you can see inside here, you can go anywhere from 32 to 56 degrees Kelvin. Now, this is kind of crazy because there's not really any single source bicolor lights. And if they are, they're really, really large. And the reason is because those chip on boards, usually you'll have one big 3200 one, one big 5500 one, and it'll make two and they'll mix. And then you get these two fat shadows from those two LEDs. Mm -hmm. Now what we do is this is, we're the first people to do this really, but we've taken one LED, a big daylight LED, we've cut out a circle in the middle of it, put a 3200 LED inside of there. So it's like a donut ring with something inside of it and that still gives us a single source shadow. And on top of that, to make sure that the light that comes out is consistent, so that the middle isn't like tungsten and the outside's daylight, we actually have a little silver chamber inside of here where it's basically filled with reflectors where basically the light goes in, it bounces around, and then comes out. Mm -hmm. And when it comes out, the light is mixed so that color temperature is all even. So you can see right here, even though I'm changing in between tungsten and daylight, you can see that I'm really just getting one shadow. So I'm going on Tom's shirt there, just one shadow here, no matter what my color temperature is. Um, just like before too, we've got the felted barn doors. It can run from anything from five volt to 18 volt, which means you can power it with essentially a cell phone dongle, or you could power it with an Anton Bauer battery, any battery in between. And on the back here, you've got spotting and flooding. You can change the light anywhere from 20 to 80 degrees in that beam angle. It's a super, super great light. Um, the closest thing to this light would really be essentially a dado light. Those are about $3,000. This light we think is going to be about $200. We're really, really trying to bring this affordable. There's nothing else in this market, even data lights, that are this small, that are bicolor. So first of all, it's the first in that. The battery options are super flexible, and we're bringing it down to a price that we think everyone can finally afford and everyone can have. It's, it's a hair light. Everyone needs a hair light. I don't know. Um, so yeah, this is the Mini 20C, the D I've got over there, but both of them are going to be coming out in two weeks. You promise. We're gonna do it. We're gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the best we can. Someone found my phone number last time and called me and was like, "Where? Where's the Mi 20C?" I don't know how people find this. Right, so yeah. don't don't call Ted, but don't yeah. Call me. <laughs> we'll, we'll wait for it. Sounds good. Cool. So we got another light, and this one is indeed. This is the Tri 8C. Before we showed you the Tri 8D, I know you guys are waiting for it, but this is now the color temperature adjustable version. We're not gonna add any more knobs to it because even though you wanna change color temperature, what we've got back here is we've got this display, just like the Tri-8D. You click this display and you can change the color temperature. Now, this is more than bicolor. We're not talking just 32 to 56 anymore. We're talking 6,800 all the way down to 2,300. So you can get, for example, you want that really kind of whiskey tungsten look. You want that Edison bulb look. Here it is. At the same end, which will light my face because my face is clearly the proper subject to use to show different <laughs> color temperatures. Um, if you wanted that kind of purplish or neon futuristic look, you can get that too. 
So you get really a wider color spectrum here. It is super, super bright. This is 888 LEDs, about the output of about a 650 watt tungsten, 500, super, super bright. And on the front here, this is pure polycarbonate. So this right here is basically shatterproof, indestructible. Beat it up, I don't care, do whatever you want with it. On the back here, aircraft grade aluminum, so super, super powerful and durable. Quick releases on the batteries because we listened and you guys said you wanted quick releases on the batteries, so why the heck not? Side here, we've got DTAP. You can go on an adapter or you can snap in batteries in here as well. So this will do V-mount or uh, gold mount on the back here. This is gonna be out in the next month. At the end of May, this is gonna come out for sure. I promise we're gonna do it. And um, as far as pricing goes, we're thinking it's gonna be about $400, $500. So super affordable. Uh, size of an iPad, powerful as hell, versatile as hell, uh, battery operated, and oh, one more thing. On the back here, battery readouts. You can see not only the intensity and the color temperature, you can see your channel and group because this is also remote control operatable. You can basically set up as many lights as you want on one remote, power them on and off and strike them. But this is also something else you guys wanted. You guys wanted to be able to know how much battery time you had left by the minute. So what we can do now is we're showing you where you have over two hours because it's plugged in. We can now give you an actual timing readout of how much battery life you have left. It's not just one out of four or red or blinking anymore. It is, we can give you the minutes, we can give you the time. So. And uh, is it going to be shipping with the, like the, you said that you can put V-mount batteries and stuff like mm -hmm. that, the adapters? Yeah, there's an adapter right here. It'll ship with all that in kit. It's actually going to ship with the case and diffusion, a diffusion element that will go on top of it too. Uh, trying to keep it stylish, I don't know, trying to make some nice bags. Uh, really, really small too. You can see this is probably about half the size of your normal laptop bag, um, but this will carry one punchy hell of a light. All shipping together. Cool. So as you guys can see, there's uh, definitely a lot of things uh, here at NAV happening. And so we're going to have more uh, more news from, you know, with all the latest and newest uh, kind of products and things, announcements. And also, in case you happen to drop by NAV, uh, you might notice my name here on this board because I'm doing a little talk here at the Aperture booth. So uh, it's uh, on Monday, 11 a.m. And then also on, on Wednesday and on Thursday. Uh, you can come check me out or you can watch the, the Aperture Facebook page and you can see the live stream there. Uh, anyways, like I say, stay tuned for more videos.